if you just watched that last video about some uncommon ways that a runner can be put out, we took a look at this rule, and that's, this rule states that a, a runner is out when he's acquired uh, possession of a base and he runs the bases uh, backwards uh, for the, the, the purpose of confusing the defense or making a travesty out of the game. And if this occurs, the umpire should call timeout right away and call the runner out. So you might be wondering, even this, if this wasn't a rule, in, in what, why would a team ever want to even think about doing this? And so I remember that I read once about a play, and I can't remember the uh, exact team or, or player who, who it was. Maybe somebody can find it and, and post it in the comments. But what they did here in this situation is there was a, a, a situation that came about and they had runners on the corners, first and third base, and and what the, the runner on first base was trying to do was draw the, the throw and get the catcher to throw down to second base so that this runner could score, you know, while the, the ball is maybe out of second base. And so what happened was that the runner ran during a pitch. He ran to second base, and he was safe. He, so he, he, he stole second base. The defensive team and the catcher, they ignored him. They didn't throw down, and so then the, the runner didn't score. So this upset the, the base runner, or, or maybe really this was his goal all along, that he, in, instead of staying on second base, he actually ran back on the next pitch. He pretty much stole first base again. Uh, which again, under this rule, under the current rules, you're not allowed to do. If he would have done that, have done that today, he would be called out right away. But be, before the, this rule was put into effect, this is what he did. So now we're back to runners on the corners. I think on, on, when, when he ran back to first base, the defense again, they ignored him. This runner was forced to stay on third. And then on the very next pitch, this runner stole second base again. And for a, a, a third time, they ignored him. And the, the runner on third base didn't score. And so I'm not completely sure that that's, that's why or this rule was, was put into effect. But I have a strong suspicion it was at least it was something like that. And so... So, so if you were wondering, you know, why would any any team or player in the right mind think about running the bases backwards, even if this rule didn't exist, a situation like that is where might a a, a runner might attempt to do it.